You gonna you stop singing now? Yeah. Okay. Hey y'all, and welcome to our Gray House Vlogs. We are sitting outside of Best Buy, waiting for it to open. It I'm opens. Di I'm, I'm dying. I'm so sick. I've got probably double pneumonia, uh, cataracts, arthritis. You you don't you name don't you do like don't you have cataracts or pre cataracts or something? Yeah. No, do you really? No. I thought the eye doctor said something like that. I'm cataracty. Well, anyway, he he legit does not <coughs> feel good, and you know how guys are when they don't feel good. They're such babies. So she's dragging me out of the house like this. Come on, come on, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have to buy the appliances, and I probably could have done it myself, but I like the company, and... Of course. Today's my... Good huh? company. Yeah. It's not bad it's company. It's not bad company. I don't even know that song, but... Um, today's... Today I die. Today, today's my mom's birthday, so we're going to call her in a second <clears throat> here and wish her happy birthday. She probably wants to eat at Cece's Pizza, because that's her favorite place. Oh, God. <laughs> I like Cece's Pizza, so... I like her taco pizza, mm -hmm. Southwest or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called, what is, uh, Olay, Pizza Olay or something like that. It's called whatever, but it's basically taco on a pizza and all the kids like it and Marvin. So that's what we're doing today. Um, and then later today, somebody has a game Michigan. It's playing in the Peach Bowl. Go Blue! Go Blue! Do you even know the song yet? <clears throat> yeah. You gonna sing it for us? Yeah, so, yeah, sort of. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. So, the Michigan Wolverines play in the Peach Bowl at 11 o'clock. We're taping it. And, um, what else? I'm gonna go to the storage unit and put some of the boxes away. And that's about it. Yeah. Alright, guys. We'll see you later. We we are shop kicking again. We just bought our appliances. Our builder just left. And Marvin and I have about, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes to kill. So we thought, let's get some kicks on Route 66. No. I tried. So we're stopping at Walgreens to get my mom get my mom a, I I have to, sneeze, to get my mom a birthday card and maybe a gift card to somewhere oh, God. and Marvin's gonna go get some Nyquil because he don't feel good so. and then we're gonna go to Cece's Pizza and eat and my nieces and nephew and my sister should be there so that will be fun gotta find a card gotta find a card I guess it's gonna be I guess it's going to be Valentine's Day soon. Not really, two months away. Month and a half, I guess. My mom's favorite place. If you've never been to a CC's, they have this buffet here. It's very inexpensive and affordable for the family. And they keep everything hot and fresh. Looking good. They used to have something called the CC's Seclair, and it was kind of like a kind of like a cinnamon roll thing, like this, but it was chocolate. It was my favorite, but they don't carry it no more. And of course, they have healthy salad bars. We've come to check out the house. So we had some guys out here yesterday. Looks like they cleaned out the garage a little bit. The garage floor is looking a little neater. Okay. Earlier today, we were at Best Buy because we were purchasing the, uh, we were using our gift cards to purchase the appliances. And we saw Tommy, I guess Tommy had to pay the balance. And he was telling us that I think in two weeks they're gonna do the driveway. Is that what he said? Uh, yeah. Something like that. And they're going to start putting up the siding in like another week or so. 
They can't really do much drywall or texturing because the weather is a little bit too cool um, for it to set up right or properly. So we'll have to wait a little bit on that, but everything else is moving along. I think we have an inspection Monday and then they can finish closing up the house and getting ready for drywall and such. So we asked them about when did they anticipate us being able to move in and, and stuff like that. And he said, probably later March. So it's like, Ugh. but in a way that's great because it gives me a little bit more time to get stuff ready and um, a little bit less stress. Still wanna get stuff done quickly so that we can just kind of relax about it, but that's where we are right now. Hey guys, it's 1120-ish and it's time for me to go to bed. We've had a productive day. We met the builder and bought the appliances at Best Buy. We shop kicked at Best Buy. We went and met my mom for lunch for her birthday. Happy birthday, mom. And then we stopped by the house to see what the poly seal guys did. And they did not seal up every single hole. So I'm not sure if that's critical. So I'm gonna ask my builder like, hey, were they supposed to fill up every hole? Cause I saw like 10 that weren't. And if it's a critical thing, then you need to come back and finish. If it's not critical, then moving right along, right? And then, uh, oh, the builder gave us an update to that. I don't know if I told you this, but he's saying that because of the cold weather, the drywall texture guys can't really work that much because something about like if it's too cold and the texture or something doesn't set correctly. So um, because of that, they've not been able to like really, they're not gonna be able to do the drywall necessarily. So when we asked him today about what is the anticipated finish date, so we can kind of coordinate selling this house, getting you know our, our stuff refinanced and all that kind of stuff. He's saying now closer to the end of March. So originally, originally, like a couple weeks ago, he was saying end of February, March. And now it's more towards the end of March. So it's good and bad. It's good because that gives us a little bit of extra time, but it's not so good because at the end of March, I have an annual conference with my nonprofit folks, the, the people that help me out with my nonprofit, Air Force Wing Moms. They, we have an annual meeting and we call it the gathering. And so we have a wing mom gathering at the end of March. So <laughs> hope that works out well. And then, because if I can't, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's not borrow trouble from tomorrow. Let's just be present. And everything's gonna work out, right? Everything's gonna work out. And then also in April, in the middle of April, my oldest daughter, Anna, is coming from for a visit from Washington State with her husband, Christian. So, like, we'll be not unpacked. <laughs> I don't think we'll be unpacked in two weeks. I'm not that kind of person that gets everything unpacked and put away. I would like to be that person, but I've got so much going on, plus going to the conference and all the other stuff and preparing for the conference. And so, just, just, just gonna give it to God. And just, everything's gonna work out fine. So that's kind of what we're doing now, which is good. Like I said, it gives us a couple like an extra week or two to prepare and that's not a bad thing but yeah we'll see how it goes i will obviously keep you apprised of the situation via this daily vlog so i hope you stay tuned and watch all right guys good night and i hope you have an awesome day tomorrow and sweet dreams good night don't let the bed bu bed bugs bite i don't know i don't know what i'm saying I'm going to say goodnight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.